Hello students, in this video we'll prove that the rationals are dense in the reals. We're going to start with the density of Q in R. Now what do I mean by this? I mean for any x, y, and r with x less than y, there is m over n in Q, a rational number such that x is less than m over n, and that is less than y. So there's a rational number stuck between two real numbers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the Archimedean principle to prove this. So here's how the proof goes. Proof. Since y is bigger than x, we have that y minus x is greater than 0. And by Archimedean property, we can find n in n such that n times x minus y, or y minus x rather, so y minus x, n times y minus x, that's the positive quantity, n times y minus x is larger than 1. That's just Archimedean applied to y minus x and 1. Good. Now, we can also similarly choose m1 and m2 in n such that such that m1 is bigger than or equal to bigger than uh, n times x and that negative that m2 is bigger than negative nx. We choose this pairing over here. So our conclusion is what? Our conclusion is that negative m2 less than nx by flipping the sense of the inequality over here, and that's less than m1. So nx can be, by the Archimedean property, can be put between two natural numbers, or two integers in this case. And so there's a smallest, there's one that's exactly between the, that range, so therefore you can find, therefore, there is an m such that what? Such that, such that m minus 1 is less than or equal to nx is less than m. And now we can put these chains together. So for this, for this particular m, we have that n times x is less than m. And m is less than 1 plus nx from this inequality over here. So if we look at this carefully, we, we can see that m is less than or equal to um, 1 plus nx. So this is less than or equal to 1 plus nx. But now we come back to our original Archimedean application. And this says that ny minus nx is bigger than 1, so that ny is bigger than 1 plus nx. So this 1 plus nx is majorized by just n times y. And now I can take this string of inequalities and divide by n. If we divide by n, what will we get? We'll have x is less than m over n, and that is less than uh, n divided by n is going to be just y over there, so less than y. So we have this relationship. So the construction over here gives me the existence of an m and the existence of an n. Both of them come from the Archimedean principle that shows that there's a rational number between any, any two real numbers, and that is equivalent to the notion of q being dense in r. Thank you very much.